in this video I want to show you or I want to explain how to find the value of an unknown angle in a right angle triangle so in my previous videos I explained if in a right angle triangle one angle and a side is given you can find the other side we're going to use the same uh, acronym SOKA TOA to figure out this so let me draw a just right angle triangle okay so let's draw a right angle triangle this is a right angle triangle okay and say we want to find this angle alpha this is what we want to find and say this is given to be 8.4 centimeters and uh, say this is given to be say 3.6 centimeters now we know these two facts if you got two sides we want to figure out the angle <coughs> so the first thing that we need to do is label so we need to follow this l d a s c okay so using this what can i do so L for label, so let's label the sides that are given. So this is uh, eight point, this is the hypotenuse, so let's label this H, and this is adjacent, so that is A. So you got A and H, you need to decide. So you have done this, now we need to decide. So A and H uses CA. CA is the triangle that we need. So it's good to draw the car triangle, C, A, H. Okay. Then third step is apply. Okay. So in apply, it's slightly different. You have to just apply. So read the formula. So the formula is cos of the angle, which is alpha, is adjacent over hypotenuse. A over H. I just applied the formula. So let's substitute. So cos alpha, so you applied, now you're going to substitute. So cos alpha is 3.6 divided by 8.4. Okay, so let's use the calculator. So and, uh, okay, so let's leave it like this. So 3.6 divided by 8.4. Now the next step is something new. The opposite of... If you want to cancel this cos, okay, so let me explain something else. So if you have, say, square root, if you learned this, if you have a square, suppose x squared is equal to 15, the opposite of square is square root. So you to take the square root of both sides. So you take square root of x squared is equal to square root of 15. So x is square root of 15, whatever that number is. So the opposite of square root, sorry, square is square root. So to cancel the square, you have to take the square root of both sides. Okay, interestingly there, I don't want this cos sitting here. So the opposite of cos is cos inverse. So let me write that. How do you write this? Cos inverse of cos alpha. I'm taking the cos inverse of this side. So you have to do the cos inverse of the other side. I'll explain this in a calculator. This is cos inverse of 3.6 divided by 8.4. So let me explain what, what is the meaning of this. So on a calculator, if you go cos inverse of cos 30, okay, if some of you may have a bracket, will give you 30. So let me show you that. So if you go <coughs> shift and if you press cos, this is called cos inverse and now you press cos 30 it will give you 30 so basically what i'm saying is cos inverse and cos cancel each other out okay so let me do one more example sorry shift cos press this yellow key which is shift and press cos this will bring this up on your calculator cos inverse of cos let's say is 10. So this and this cancel each other out, the calculator will give you 10. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. I want to cancel this cos. 
my purpose is to cancel this cos. I don't want cos, I want co alpha. So I have to do the cos inverse of the left hand side. So if I do the cos inverse of the left hand side, I have to do the cos inverse of the right hand side. So now I can say alpha, alpha <coughs> is equal to cos inverse of 3.6 divided by 8.4. This is, this is an application or calculation. So this is substituting in the calculation. Basically, you have to take the cos inverse of this number. So let me show you how to do this on calculator. So you go shift cos bracket uh, 3.6, 3.6 divided by 8.4. Close the bracket, which is 64.6 degrees. So let's write as a whole number. So that is 65 degrees. If you want to write as a whole angle, 64.6, if you round, you have to round this up. So this is, as the complete angle, this is 65 degrees. Let's do one more example. Okay, so let's draw a right angle triangle. And this is what you can do it yourself. Okay, I'm just making up some numbers. So this is a right angle and say so this is a beta, beta. Okay, and here you have got say this is 220 millimeter and this is say, 130 millimeter. Okay, so the same process. First label. Okay, so labeling. Uh, this is the opposite side and this is the hypotenuse. So you've got O and H, so you have to decide. So let me again write the acronym L-D-A-S-C. First label, now decide. You have to decide which trig ratio you're going to do, use. So well, this is O and H, so it is so. The third step is slightly different than S-O-H. You have to apply or write the formula. So apply is S stands for sine of the angle. So sine of the angle is beta is opposite divided by, so let me write like this, opposite divided by hypotenuse. So let me rewrite, so I'm going to substitute now. So this is sine beta, what is opposite? It is 130 divided by 220. So I'll do it. So we are smart now. So we, what you can do is you have to take sine inverse. If, if you want to cancel the sine, you have to take the sine inverse of this side. So you have to take the sine inverse of the other side. So I can say beta is equal to sine inverse of 130 divided by 220. Okay, so again, cancel this. Sine shift sine bracket 130 divided by 220. Close the bracket, which is 36.2, which is rounding it to a whole number that is 36 degrees. Okay, let's finish off with this example. So again, you've got a right angle triangle, you've got two sides, and you want to find this angle alpha. Okay, so the first step is again, label. So this side, so this side is the opposite, and this is the adjacent. Next is, you have to decide, so we decide the trig ratio that we're going to use using O and A is 2R, T-O-A. So this is deciding. Now you have to apply the formula. So applying the formula, I can say 10 of the angle, which is alpha, is O divided by A. Next is substitute. So 10 alpha is O. What is O? O is 1.4 divided by 2.6. So again, I want to cancel this 10. So you have to take the tan inverse of this side to cancel the tan. So you have to take the tan inverse of the other side. So you can directly do like this. Alpha would be tan inverse of 1.4 divided by 2.6. So again, the same process. 
so cancel shift 10 of opposite opposite is 1.4 divided by JSON which is 2.6 close the bracket and the answer is 28.3 degrees or you can write 28 degrees as a whole angle so this angle is 28 degrees now if someone is asking you how much is this angle suppose this is beta how would you do it well you know alpha plus beta should be how much the sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 this is 90 degree so alpha plus beta should be 90 degrees so this is basically 28 plus beta is 90 so I'm going to take away 28 from both sides so 28 plus beta take away 28 is equal to 90 minus 28 so plus 28 and minus 28 gets cancelled so beta is 90 minus 20 is 70 70 take away 8 is 62 degrees okay so sum of three angles is going to be 9 9